a quick look at the McAfee uh, F22 that I have for sale. This is the brushed version. You might be bummed thinking the brushless is better, but this is a one-to-one -one thrust to weight ratio, and the brushless version is one to uh, one point two. So this actually is just about as good, if not better, some might say. Oh, let's see. I need to put my throttles down, of course. Now this is a DSM-2 radio, and it's incredibly smart. In fact, I would venture to say it's as smart as any Tyrannus or Spectrum or anything that I currently own, and it's just in a little cheesy box. But that does mean that you can use your Spectrum remotes and all that. Now this is a completely smart wing. You need to look it up online. This has all the features of a mini drone. Uh, everything from auto land, auto takeoff, circle. Um, here, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Just allow me to plug it in. Might be a bit difficult here. That's all right, I got it. Now you let it sit like that. Calibrating. Please wait. Calibration successful. Ready to take off. Alright, so I don't know if you heard that, but it said calibration successful, ready to take off. So at this point, you shut your hatch. Now we do have landing gear that you can use. I don't tend to use them. Now take a look here. As I tilt the airway, I might put it into a different. Let's first check the prop. Now look. This is in complete self leveling mode. As you can see, we're running on low juice. The batteries are going low. It's trying to land itself. So, this thing is telling me it has low power. It's still trying to glide itself in for a landing, as you can see. And it will absolutely do that. It's completely automated. You have full telemetry. Do um, you see those three bars on the upper left hand corner? That is the telemetry for the module, and it flies like nothing else. I will say that. It is a little rocket. It's a bullet. It's extremely lightweight. Um, it comes with two, uh, I'm sorry, it comes with everything pretty much new. It's been flown once, maybe twice, and I did put the stickers on it. Never crashed. It comes with two batteries, these stock batteries for it and it's balanced perfectly. You could put a tiny little FPV camera on top of it, which is honestly what I like to do, and then you can record HD video with a lot of these tiny little new camera systems. And this is as easy as it is. Boom, now it also comes with a multi-charger, so you can charge... Oh, I'm sorry, it was trying to tell me aircraft disconnected. Yeah, did you hear that? Now you might think, oh my god, I can never deal with that, that'd be annoying, but this is just for your beginning, your beginner training mode, because it is so agile that you can take off in this docile trainer mode and you see how it has full voltage telemetry and everything here. And this will turn you uh, right, oh, it, it, one of the cool things I gotta show you because they didn't advertise this, but never had a radio that can do this. Let me find which button it is. It's one of these. One of, the, one of these buttons does something amazing, and I'm sure you can see what I'm getting at here. But it has 
an actual light on it. Oh, I need to hit, I believe, that. There it is. You see that? So in the event that you're looking for a lost plane somewhere or something, it's really bright out here, but this is actually a pretty damn bright light. And it's a very cool thing to have available to you. And all you do is hit this button to turn on or off the light. So when you're going to pick up your model at dusk, you'll be able to find it. Uh, did I hit the right button? Uh, I've gotten into, as you can see, there is a full, this is a fully programmable uh, remote. So you can use this not just for other airplanes, but you know, for quadcopters, for other little planes, things like that. Oh wow, look at that. All right, so we just want to get out of here. Let's just turn this off. That way it doesn't save anything, and you can always reset the remote. Throttle down to start, as with any radio. And now you have three different modes I wanted to show you. As you can imagine, that is pure acro. That is just rip your balls acro right there. And notice how there's nothing for that now. This gives you basic stabilization. And this is self-leveling mode. Now, it goes beyond that to smart training mode which has things like pretty much automatic takeoff. You do a give it throttle and you toss it and it climbs and circles above you. And instead of flying like this, you can start by increase height, decrease height. You can also, now the plane will be automatically circling above you. So by using you can actually snake and fly around with nothing more than these two buttons and get your throttle figured out. But the smart training mode is very odd because, for example, I was headed towards a tree at very high speeds. I was up here just hauling butt and I was heading straight for a tree trying to do some Top Gun in my, you know, new fighter jet. And I pull that all the way back. And in smart training mode, you need to read the manual because it does things like waits for three seconds to it's not, this is not how you fly normal. Anybody who is used to flying needs to go to this mode or this mode. Going to smart training mode is going to be very very odd for you, but if you're a brand new pilot, it's going to be awesome to be able to get it up in the air, fly it around, have it automatically land. Um, you'll have to read the manual, one of the buttons does that, so I highly recommend you check